The Washington Huskies last year had a very, very good year for their standards, man. When I tell y'all, man, they always a top 10 school. This team is always in the top 10. They had a quarterback last year that was very, very good. He had transferred in from Indiana and Michael Penix Jr. Listen, this guy, Michael Penix Jr., been good ever since he played for Indiana. He used to have a lot of, you know, injuries in the past. He had a crazy, you know, injury history. He a left-handed man quarterback, but he is very good. Last year, the Washington Huskies finished with a top-ranking offense, and their defense was pretty good, too. Like, I was surprised. I didn't know the Washington Huskies football team, you know, was that underrated. But literally, they are a couple pieces away from really competing, you know, for, you know, the college football playoff spot. We didn't seen it before with teams like Cincinnati, with Luke Fickle, um, you know, teams like that. Under the radar teams, even TCU that made it to the college football playoffs, even if they lost, man, they still, you know, they still made a way, you feel me? And Washington Huskies, they remind me of that, um, you know, that type of team. Last year, they finished 11-2 and two in the Pac-12. That's pretty good, man. Um, they had two conference losses, um, which, you know, which ain't really bad, man. They ended the season with a seven-game win streak. So they was like the hottest team in the Pac-12, you know, during that time. And, you know, USC, you they they was just, USC was ahead of them and Utah, but I think Utah had beat them head to head. That's why they end up in the Pac-12 championship. But man, they had the second best record in the Pac-12, and they were unstoppable at home. Nobody could beat them. They was seven and zero at home last year. They lost two times on the road. Um, so Washington has always been pretty good, man. But in this video, I got y'all top three must get recruits for the. Um, class of 2024, man. Listen, Washington Huxies, they like to stretch the field, get their receivers the ball, you know, in space, love to go deep. So it's only right for me to start off this um, recruiting video um, saying, with this prospect, man. His name is Mylon Ground, man. This guy is very, very good, man. I think he's like the fifth best receiver in the nation. Um, this guy, you know, could play both sides of the field. When I tell you, man, this guy's route running is stellar. He's really, really good. He's a really, really good wide receiver. He could be a wide receiver one, wide receiver two. He blocks really well, man. You could actually play, place him on a spot. He one of those guys you can move around. He will be a superstar, man. I'm telling y'all, once he get the proper development, this guy has the speed to compete with, you know, the big dogs, man, and to get y'all over the hunt, man. So y'all have to get this right receiver prospect, man. Washington Huskies, man. I would love to see you guys, you know, get to the top, man. Period, point blank, man. Period, point blank. I, I love to see low-key teams. Like, this year I saw TCU. They was a Cinderella, and they was playing for a national championship, even though they got blown out. They got boat raced, so... You know, y'all got to pick up this wide receiver prospect, man. This will be a great pickup for the squad, period, point blank. The next prospect that you guys are going to need for this 2024 class is this defensive tackle out of Chicago and Justin Scott, man. This guy is really good, man. When I tell y'all, man, this guy is a playmaker on that interior, man. He a playmaker on that interior. The interior defensive line is my favorite position. Um, why, why is that is because they could disrupt in game. They get pressure on the quarterback. They make the quarterback's job live in hell. And one thing I love in football is sacks. If I see a defensive line getting to the corner quarterback and making a whole lot of sacks, man, guess what? Guess what, man? I just, you know, that, that just make my day. You feel me? He, this guy being an interior, he's a freak athlete. He can fly to the ball, flying the running backs. Like, this guy is insane, bro. Y'all got to pick him up for y'all's defense. Um, Last year on the road, y'all's two road losses, y'all had defensive deficiencies, which could be covered if y'all got stellar defensive line play. Y'all always a top 10 team, so y'all should be able to grab top prospects. I know y'all in Washington, and people really don't want to come play there. They think it's cold. But, man, y'all got to, you know, recruit better. Y'all got to promote y'all's, you know, y'all's brand better. You feel me? Y'all some y'all might have to make some coaching changes, you feel me, to attract that talent. But y'all gotta do whatever y'all gotta do, man. Y'all gotta do whatever y'all gotta do, man. Period point blank. Everybody need a job. Everybody, you know, got money. You feel me? So 
Go get y'all one of those top coaches, somebody that has NFL ties. You feel me? That's a way to get people to come play at your school. You feel me? Look at Colorado and Deion Sanders. Boom, man. Go get y'all dominant force on that defensive line. Go get an NFL legend. And I guarantee you a kid that's a blue chip will want to come play for that NFL legend because they will want to get developed just like they were developed. You feel me? Coaching is key. Coaching staff moves is key. But, man, y'all got to get this man, Justin Scott, period, point blank. The third and final prospect that I think you guys need to, you know, go after and, you know, get is Dylan Raiola, man. I think he'll be a good fit to y'all system, especially after Michael Penix is gone. I know this is a long shot because Dylan Raiola has not shown a lot of interest in Washington. I just put Dylan Raiola on here because he's the number one quarterback in the nation. And the number one quarterback in the nation you know, go pretty much go anywhere and play because, you know, he's a playmaker. He a game changer. So if y'all get this guy, man, he could, you know, stretch the field. Washington love that air raid. They love to get that ball out. They love to score points. You feel me? Like one of the low key teams. Like I like Washington, man. I do. I watched y'all a couple times last year, man, even though I thought y'all could have done better. But man, y'all, y'all had a pretty good year last year. Washington 11 and two. Dylan Raiola, man, y'all get him, y'all able to pick him up. That would be a big, big get for y'all offense. But, you know, I know that's, you know, out of out of the way. But, man, get y'all a good quarterback coach. Hit up his dad. Offer his dad, like, <laughs> a million. You feel me? A million dollars to come coach there. And I bet he come. Um, ain't nobody in this world just going to turn that down a million dollars. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get these top prospects, man. Um, I know if I was a coach, I would, you know, be hiring the people that developed them in high school. You feel me? Always have my developers there, but give the his high school coach a good job. Elevate them. Do what you got to do to get that prospect on, on campus, period, point blank. That's how you win national championships, and that's how you, you know, go to the next level. But anyways, man, it's your boy, the Slimy Lou. Make sure you like up, subscribe up to the channel. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, I'm going to continue to drop this dope, dope content for y'all, man. All year long, man, we're going we gonna to just, you know, break the deck, go crazy. Man, six videos today. I got another six for y'all tomorrow, man. Different content. I'm out. Peace.